Hello everyone, it's good to see your smiling faces today and I want to talk to you today about our fifth and final blessing of this time of isolation and that blessing is the ability and the time to think. Well, it's good to see you again and this is our last video in this series looking at these blessings of this time that we have in isolation. We, we recognize that God is working all things together for the good of those who love him, all those who are called according to his purpose. He is using everything in your life to conform you more and more into the image of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is a great blessing of God. This is a great mercy of God. And so let's see the blessings that God has given to us and let's take advantage of this time and rejoice in what God has given to us. Now, in this season of isolation, God has given us the blessing to be able to use our minds and to think. Now, so often in a time like this, uh, the things that we're thinking about, the things that, that our minds go to are things that are going to cause us anxiety. We might be thinking about our own health and perhaps you're one who's, who's, who's compromised or someone who is in a, in a category of risk and so you're worried about yourself or maybe there's a loved one that you're worried about contracting this disease and experiencing uh, the pain that goes with it and even death. Maybe you're thinking about your finances because uh, you're experiencing the job loss or you're not sure of the future of your occupation. Maybe you're a student and you're, you're not sure you're in the midst of school and, and what is going to happen to the rest of this year or the coming years uh, with the industry that you are being trained for. And so we have all of these questions that are coming to our minds and our minds can be dwelling and thinking about these things and, and no resolution comes of them because we're thinking on things that are uncertain things that we do not know the answer to. But what God calls us to do is to take our minds, especially now that we have more time to think during this season of life, and to give ourselves to think about what is good. Let me, let me read from you, read to you from Philippians chapter 4. It says in verse 8, Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. This is a call from God to you to think about the true, good, and honorable things in your life, in who God is, in what God has done, and think about these things. Consider these things. That means you're going to have to start the day thinking about God's word and about God's truth. It's going to mean when you go to bed at night, you're going to be thinking about God's word and about God's truth. It means that you're going to be taking in more of his word than you'll be on the phone or on the computer taking in the news. It means that we're going to be considering the things that Jesus Christ has done for us. It means that we're going to be on the phone with other brothers and sisters in Christ or texting or emailing to encourage them and to receive encouragement from them. These are all the things that we're going to employ our minds to do and to think about so that we would in fact rejoice and experience the peace of God rather than the anxiety and the fear that comes with dwelling on the things of our circumstance that are outside of our control. And so see the blessing of this extra time that you have to think and to meditate. Take up a good book. Take up the Bible. Uh, take up a conversation with another brother and sister in the Lord Jesus and Christ. Take this time even by yourself to think of the things of God, to consider all the blessings of who God is and what he has done. Employ yourself. Use your mind to think about the things of God and he will give you a peace that passes understanding. So be encouraged. Take advantage of this blessing of thinking, of meditating, that God has given to you through this season of slowness in your life.